E of the Woman's Magazine of the Air, presented by Radio 390. If you're driving along in your car, there's no better company than the sounds of Radio London. Listen, fella, Mick loves it, whatever your name is. Would you cut the chatter and let's have more platter? Number four. The UK's expanding youth market had not been catered for. And now, Pirate Radio was reaching the four corners of the UK. At work, at home, and in the office. The number one song in the world for Dusty Springfield. This is Radio Caroline on 199 Meters, your all-day music station, Britain's first commercial radio station. My name's Tom Lodge, your disc jockey for the next hour. With over a dozen stations scattered around our shores, over 25 million people were regularly tuning in to hear new records by the Beatles, Rolling Stones, Jimi Hendrix, The Who, Cream, and U.S. imports from Tamla Motown and Stax. But the pirate radio story is an intriguing one. It's a story that captures the glamour of a musical revolution, but reveals a darker side of siege, shipwrecks, raids, government jamming, rescues, a firebomb, and even a murder. Dateline, Wednesday, June the 22nd, Essex. William Oliver Smedley has been charged with the murder of Reg Calvert, the head of Radio City, who was found dead in a house in Saffron Walden this morning. Smedley was remanded in custody for a fortnight. Scarlett died from a gunshot wound in the chest. Visit our Anarchy on the Airwaves exhibition at the Pirate Radio Museum, Clacton-on-Sea. It's just £5 for adults, 8 to 16-year-olds, £2.50. Under 8s go free if accompanied by a full-paying adult. Anarchy on the Airwaves. 50 years of Pirate Radio history. <laughs> <laughs> 